Hello and welcome to a video review of the uh, DMJ J, uh, DMJ 93962 Dream Dia Block Teddu Kuri Choco Block. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna say Dia Block um, Lego Brick Mold with chocolate. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a uh, set that gives you a, just enough chocolate to make it the first time, and you can build blocks and uh, build the Lego, um, you know, blocks. Make yourself a uh, Lego compatible um, building or chocolate stuff, whatever. So yeah, you slide the card out, which has originally had plastic tape on it. You can see there's some letter samples there, whatever. And then you can pull out the back tray, and the back tray holds some, um, obviously the mold itself. Uh, this top piece. So sort of once you put the chocolate in and melt it, you just slide it down, hold it. And wait for it to try and stuff their holes there, which I guess if you really wanted to, you could inject the chocolate into it, yeah, like a, a food syringe or something. And of course, a bag of chocolate, which um, it's sort of melted and uh, re-solidified a little bit. It's okay. It's just there. So it says, hey, uh, melt it, melt the chocolate, uh, put the chocolate in the bowl, melt it with boiling water through the pot, you know, pour the chocolate into the mold, and uh, put it in. Uh, Put it in the fridge for 40 minutes and it should be good to go. So uh, I'm going to wash this and do exactly that and um, see how that goes. And the chocolate amount here, um, yeah, just about right, right amount. So does it say how many grams this is? 50 grams. So, okay, this will hold 50 grams of chocolate. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, made it. Um, putting, uh, obviously didn't melt it enough. I actually put the chocolate in the microwave and melted it that way. Um, oops. And there's a lot of air bubbles and stuff, but yeah, I can still build it quite well. And you can see it's, um, the weight actually held up pretty well. But, uh, Hong Kong is like 35 degrees right now. And, uh, and just, and, and even though I was in the air conditioned room, the heat from my hands was more than enough to, um, melt the edges and deform it just a little bit. Um, Tastes like standard Japanese cheapy chocolate. Mmm. And uh, it came out of the bottom of the mold quite easily. But the top transparent layer that put the holes into the chocolate was um, quite snug. Quite hard to pull out. Um, so, yeah. I really think that um, using this to make jelly or sweets or gummies would be a lot easier than um, chocolate it's because gummies won't melt from the heat of your palm so yeah is this mold worth getting well yeah kind of it's definitely cheaper than official lego molds plus it actually comes with a top layer to give you the holes so you can actually build yourself some sort of chocolate castle you know if you have like a cake or something and you can build little Lego like bricks on top. Now the shape isn't exactly the same as Lego. The the studs are a bit bigger bigger than Lego. So are the holes for the studs to go into. But that's fine. Hey, you just build like a chocolate castle on your cake and uh, it'll look great. Hmm. Do wish the mold was a little bit bigger. Um, maybe get two or three so you can really speed out the process. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now. Mm -hmm.